Hey guys, welcome to part three of building a REST API with PHP from scratch, no frameworks or anything. So in the last video, we made the read single so that we could get a single post. We also did the create so we could make a post request and we could add a post through uh, through our REST client. All right, so now we're going to do update. So we want to be inside of our post model. And what I'm going to do is copy the create method because there's a lot of stuff that is the same. So I'm going to create that. I'm, or I'm sorry, I'm going to copy that whole method and paste it in and we'll change this to update post and we'll change this to update. Now, as far as the query goes, we're going to instead of insert into, we want to say update, update that this table and we can do this. We can do the same thing here, set all this stuff, but we need to say what post we're updating. So right after the category ID, we're going to say where and we're going to say where ID equals question mark. All right, actually, we could use a named parameter here, so we could do colon ID like that. It's up to you if you want to use named parameters or positional. So let's see, we prepare the statement. We're still we're going to clean the data just like we did before, but we also want the ID. So we're going to uh, let's actually just copy that down and let's do ID. So this ID equals this ID like that. And then we want to bind the ID as well. So right here uh, and we're binding it here. this ID then we want to execute it we want this this stuff will be the same so if something goes wrong it'll print out the error and that's it so pretty easy pretty similar to the create now we need to create in our API post folder we need to create a file called update.php all right and for update I'm going to copy from let's see create.php We'll grab down to, let's see. Actually, it's let's just copy the whole thing and go to update. Usually creates and updates are very similar. Now, one thing I do want to change is up from post. I want to make it a put request. OK, so we'll go down here. We're going to get the stuff that is submitted. Um, but we also need to set the ID to be updated. OK, since this isn't a create, it's an ID. I mean, I'm sorry, it's an update. We need to know the ID. So for that, we'll say post ID is going to be equal to whatever the data ID is. OK, and then we're going to set the properties here and let's just change this to update. And we're going to call the update method. And then we'll say post updated or post not updated. And that should do it. It should be as easy as that. So we'll save and let's try it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to say post um, update.php. And then we're going to go to, let's see, uh, actually want to change this to a put request. And headers should still have the application JSON as the content type. And then in the body, um, you know what, let's add ID. So let's say we want to update four. And we'll change the title to updated post. And we'll say this is an updated post. And that should be good. So let's let's try it out. We'll send and we get post updated. Now, this is ID four. So let's check it out by going to read underscore single dot PHP. And we want to check ID of four and we want to make that a get request. And there we go. Title is updated post and body is this is an updated post. 
So we've successfully done uh, the update. So now let's do the delete, which is actually pretty easy. We're going to first go to our model. So you can see the the uh, the process that that we that we're doing here. So we'll go to the model. And let's see. We'll just type it out. This is easy enough. So make sure we go under the update. We're still within the class. We'll say delete post. So public uh, function delete. So our query our query is going to be delete from we want to concatenate this table and then we just want to say where ID is equal to and I'll just use a named parameter here. So where ID is equal to colon ID and then we want a, our prepared statement. So I'll just grab that from one of these like that. And uh, let's clean the ID. So I'm going to grab this. Remember, this is this is a delete. So we're not the only thing that it's going to take in is the ID. Then we need to bind the ID. So I'll just copy from right here. I should probably comment this stuff. All right, and then we just want to execute the query and just do this return true if it executes return false if not like that. And that's it. So we'll save. Now we'll go to our post folder and create a file called delete.php. And in this file, I'm just going to copy Let's see. Let's copy the update and paste that in. And we're going to change the allowed method to be a delete. This is all going to be the same. This is going to get the posted data, which will just be the ID. Um, we want to set the ID to the data ID. We don't need any of this because we're not adding this stuff. And then let's say delete post. So we want to call post delete that we just created and we'll change this and this to deleted. All right, so we'll save and let's go back to Postman and let's delete. We'll delete seven, the one that we created. So we'll say API post delete dot PHP. Make sure that it's a delete request. And then for the headers, you want to make sure it's JSON and then the body. All we need is the ID that we want to delete. So we'll say delete seven. And send and post deleted. Now let's go to post read.php, make a get request. And now if we look one, two, three, four, five, six, and no seven. So seven has been deleted. All right, so that's it, guys. We now have a full CRUD REST API for our blog post. Now what I would like you guys to do if you're interested is to finish this with the categories. And if if you are confused on how to start that out, then I'll help you with that. But then I think that you should try to do it on your own and just take the same principles that we've used so far. And it'll, it'll be even easier because categories only really have um, a name. They have an ID and a name. So what we'll do just to start you guys off is create a folder in API called category. And we also want to create a model called category.php. And the reason I'm not doing this is one, it gives you guys a chance to, to do it on your own. And in, in another, it's it'll be very repetitive. I don't want to do the same exact thing for categories, but we could even copy. Uh, let's see. Well, no, no, let's not copy. Let's um, we'll just type this in real quick. So PHP would create a class of category 
and we want our DB stuff. So we want a connection. We want a table. And in this case, it's going to be categories. Then you want your properties. So we'll do public ID, public name, public created at. Okay, then we want our constructor and I can actually copy some of this stuff. It's so from the post model, we'll just grab the constructor. And then what I'll do is I'll do the, I'll do the first one, I'll do the read. And then if you guys want, you can continue and do the rest of them. Okay, so just like with post, where we had the read here, we can actually um, I'll we'll just type it out. This one, this is much easier since we're not doing any joins or anything. So public function read. And actually, let's put a comment here. So we'll say get categories. So we want to create our query. So our query is going to be select. And then what do we want to select? We want the ID, the name and created at, actually just the ID and the name. Uh, but then we want to do from. And then the table. So what I'll do is concatenate this table. And let's see, yeah, we'll come from this table and then we'll just say order by created at descending. Oops. Okay. So that should do it for the query. Now, right underneath that, we want to prepare the statement. So we'll say statement equals this connection, prepare, pass in the query, execute it, so S, uh, STMT, execute, and then just return the statement. All right, so we'll save that. Now in category inside the API folder, we'll create a file called read.php. And let's see, in this file, we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did in the read and the post, except some things will be changed. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing. And we want the headers to be the same. We don't want the post model this time, though. We want the category model. Okay, connect to the database. We're not going to instantiate a blog post. We're going to instantiate a category object. So we want to change this to category and change this to category. It's still going to take in the database. Then we want our category read query. So this will be category read. We're going to get our result count. We're going to see if there's check if any cat uh, categories and then we're going to create uh, we'll say cat array I'm just going to call this cat array okay and again we want it put in the data then we're going to loop through we're going to extract the row and change this to let's say cat item and then it doesn't have all this stuff categories all we really want is the ID and the name. Oh, you know what? I think I messed one thing up in the model. Real quick, if we just go back over to the model, since I ordered by created at, we have to select that as well. I forgot about that. All right. So back to the category read. 
So we have the, the cat item. Now we want to push onto the category array data, the category item. And then we want to output the JSON of cat array. And then down here we'll say no categories. Message will be no categories found. All right, so let's try it. I did that kind of fast, so hopefully I didn't mess anything up. So we can now go to API category slash read dot PHP get request send and there we go. So we have an, a JSON object with uh, a, a value, a key of data, and then we have the array of categories with the ID and the name. So it's up to you guys if you want to keep going and you want to do a whole crud thing for the categories that might be some good practice. Uh, but other than that, that's going to be it. There is the, the GitHub repository in the description. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish the categories and put that in the repository right this minute, uh, but I probably will eventually, or, or maybe someone can make a pull request with it. Uh, just make sure it's clean, please. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.